Good morning YouTube. XRA 311 Spartan here back with another video. I apologize. It has been forever since I've done one. I know, I know, I know. So here I am. What I'm going to show you today is how to program TMS on your XTS 5000. I've been getting a lot of questions about that lately, so I figured, you know what? Let's do a video. Pretty simple here. Now, for those of you who don't know, TMS allows you to send text messages back and forth between your devices, radio devices. Anyway, pretty simple to set up and it's very, very easy to use. The XTS 5000 that I am programming here today is a Model 2. So things work a little bit different, especially when you don't have a full keypad to enter things. But I'm going to show you that here in a second. First things first, we are going to open up our radio wide settings and on the general tab, we need to check ARS user login enable. We got to set ourselves a soft ID and username and we must set a pin number. Any four digit pin will work. Everything's good here. Once we got all that in place, we need to just pop over to the data tab here and enter ourselves an IP address for subscriber and mobile. These two can be the same. These two have to be different. If you don't know anything about IP addresses, that's cool. You can just copy what I've got here. That's fine. Keep in mind, once we go over to our Astro system, we hit the data tab here. We have to enter an IP address again. Please note that these must be different. You see, I got 10, 10, 20, 110, 10, 10, 20, 112. Same thing for the MDC, 10, 10, 30, 12, 30, 110 here. They must be different. If you try to match them up, CPS is going to complain and you're going to have some problems. No big deal. Is what it is. It's fine. It's simple. My personal preference, my Astro system, whatever the last three of my radio ID is, that's what I use as the IP address there. You don't have to. You can come up with your own scheme. It's cool. No big deal. All right. Back to this here. Astro system on the data tab, we got to make sure we have packet data capable system checked. I also prefer to check the auto generate target IP address. Our packet data mode must be set to direct. Fixed network equipment and repeated is not going to work. Chances are you're probably not using this over the air. You're just going radio to radio simplex with this and that's fine. Dwell timer, all this other fun stuff can stay the same. Now, if you're like me and you have a Model 2 radio, you are not left out from this. You can select list only. For those of you folks with a Model 3 full keypad, you can hit unlimited and free key your stuff. Remember the days of T9 predictive text? Oh yes, it is still alive and well. But for us Model 2 folks, list only. Pretty simple, that's it. All we gotta do, from here is go over to our ARS tab, make sure automatic registration service is enabled. And under the mode, we are going to check to make sure it is set to non-server. Okay, so this way your radio is not looking for a server and an acknowledgement, all this other silly stuff, we're good. Radio to radio, there it is. All right, theoretically, for those of you with a Model 3 full keypad, you're gonna free text it there totally unlimited TMS cool you can go ahead and write and write right to your radio it's fine for us uh, model 2 guys I would suggest going over to you know add some predefined text messages in there if you will so on your list your tree here under quick text message you can fill out a few of these in here all right you see I got 17 in there just basic stuff whatever okay also it is helpful because you can't just key in somebody's radio ID make yourself a little call list there. Okay, there's an all call, individual, um, whatever your friend's radios are, maybe you got a small fleet of them yourself, you can enter all your boys in there, it's good. So this way, Model 2, you just select who you want to send the, the predefined text message to and fire it off, boom, you are good to go. All right, so that's basically it. From here, all you're gonna do is Write that device with all of these settings, and after everything's said and done, boom, you've got TMS. Here in a little bit, I'm going to show you guys how that works on the radio interface itself, but uh, first things first, coffee. 